This is how to wire and how to cut the hole for this control panel. I've changed out some of the components, but it'll be the same. So basically with the switch, if you have the lighted version, you need both um, power and ground to the switch. So this one is the switch. And we're going to start here with the switch. We're going to have a fused line in. I'll go into, into um, the first plug. And then the second one is also power. And we have that going into um, one plug that then splits into three. So each of the other three components uh, all are getting power. On the ground, we're also um, double ganging it. Um, because I have three wires going in there, I couldn't fit a fourth one. So we um, jumped. Uh, so we went to that one where it split off to, to a, a third. And then um, because I have LED lighting, um, I have it going off to the LED lighting. So it's bouncing off again, but you don't need the, um, the blank wire going out. All right, now this is the hole. First off, I made a, a template. Um, the, uh, the template here is 3 and 3 sixteenths. This is actually square, even though the box is a little bit more on one side than the other. It is still, the hole itself is still square. Okay, so you, no matter which way you turn it, it's still square. So the hole's going to be the same. It, you just mounted it differently. And let's pause. And there it is inserted. Now remember, you have to angle these corners. And this is about a quarter inch this way and a quarter inch that way. Um, else you will, if you went straight across, you'll 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 hit the, the mounting holes. So don't go straight across, angle the corners, and you'll be fine. Also, if you notice the plug has prongs on it, I actually had to rotate it a little bit because the prong, if it's sticking out here and sticking out here, it's a little bit bigger. Um, but uh, that's about it. So showed you how to wire it and how to cut the hole for it. The rest is up to you.